The United States uh, pivots to Beijing for talks about North Korea after China and Russia propose easing sanctions against Pyongyang. Meanwhile, Seoul and Washington failed to agree on the cost of hosting U.S. troops in South Korea. Washington is seeking more than five times the current amount. Meanwhile, Seoul and Washington failed to agree on the cost, as I mentioned, of hosting U.S. troops in South Korea. And Washington is seeking more than five times what the current amount is. And to understand this further, we're going to be speaking with retired Major General Mats Engman. He's a distinguished military fellow at the Institute for Security and Development Policy. His expertise focuses on the developments in East Asia and the Korean Peninsula. Uh, firstly, South Korea and the United States have failed to reach an agreement on the cost sharing. Is the U.S. asking for too much? Yes, I believe so. If you have an alliance or a business relation and one part is asking for a five-fold increase without being able to specify that in an increase of equivalent size in quality or quantity or additional services, I do think it's asking for too much. But then some critics are saying that it is about time that they ask for this amount because they haven't increased the amount for, you know, several years. Will they, do you think they'll eventually reach an agreement, though? Yeah, I think they will reach an agreement because there is a lot of stake for both parties. Um, the credibility of the alliance and for both uh, countries, it's a lot of domestic issues at stake as well. So I think they will eventually reach an agreement. And I think we could see an indication earlier uh, this evening when uh, the head of the U.S. negotiation team specified that we are not focusing on the numbers. So I think they will find some kind of compromise in the end. Well, Stephen Vegan, we know, is heading to China to talk about North Korea. What should we expect out of that meeting? I think one of the reasons for Mr. Began to travel to China now is try to maintain uh, a coordination and a united United Nations Security Council and international front uh, towards North Korea. Because as you mentioned in your presentation, there is a uh, movement in, uh, in Russia and China trying to relax some of the sanctions uh, suddenly, uh, currently imposed on, on North Korea. So I think maintaining the international consensus is one of the reasons. And the other reason is to try to seek Chinese support to restart uh, the negotiations that has now been stalled for quite some time. Uh, Major General, I want to get back to the question on South Korea and uh, the U.S. You mentioned there that, that there could be some indication of a compromise. W what form or, or what compromise are we looking at? I think what we will see is a compromise in the figure uh, that they will try to meet somewhere halfway uh, between uh, the current uh, level, which is approximately 1 billion, and the 5 billion initially being asked by the United States. But I think also you will see a, some kind of um, um, action that South Korea will uh, maybe agree to buy more U.S. weaponry. Uh, they may be allowed to shoulder uh, or have to shoulder a larger responsibility for cleanup, environmental cleanup of U.S. bases in South Korea currently being handed over and possibly also take part in some of the U.S.-led international operations where U.S. is asking their alliance partners and others to support them. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us and helping us understand that. Major General Metz Engman, the Distinguished Military Fellow at the Institute for Security and Development Policy.